Jay Leno is going to interview Rush Limbaugh. Uh oh, and Rush is going to run roughshod over him. Uh, this is terrible. Let's listen, and then uh, I'll tell you what Jay Leno should have said. Clip number four. See, look, here's something that bothers me. You believe in the capitalist system. I believe in the capitalist right. system. I, what, I watch Wall Street, and I go, okay, you can make a million or two million a year. Okay, hey, you can make ten million a year. Eight hundred, nine hundred million dollars. Some of these people make a billion dollars. At some point, I mean, how much pie can you possibly eat? I mean, where did it go? See, I mean, no somewhere, way. somewhere it went wrong. Because when I was a kid, Howard Hughes was the richest man in the world with three point two billion dollars. Now people have hundreds of billions of dollars, and other people have absolutely well, nothing. The economic pie is growing. It's not a zero sum game. Just because somebody has eight hundred million dollars doesn't mean somebody lost it. It means the market produced it. It's none of my business what they make, Jay. It's certainly none of yours, and it's certainly not Barack Obama's what anybody makes. No, but you know, but, to me, but to me, it's ha this, you know, whole, me, this it's whole question of what you you said you believe in the capitalist but system. But how you make it. No, 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 it's not. If you believe in the capitalist system, mm -hmm. then you have to erase from your whole whole uh, worldview what does somebody need. It's not about need. Capitalism is not about need. It's about providing. It's about growing. It's about opportunity. It is about doing whatever you want to do. Did you know, Wall Street do, 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 do deserve you know what American this? exceptional is? Well, I'll tell you about Wall Street. Did uh, they deserve the seven hundred billion dollars that they got uh, from us? Now, using your theory, no, using your no. theory, all you, those guys should about, be out are you on the street about tarp because money? they screwed up. You know about tarp? Yeah, all of it. The tarp. giant scam. Giant. If we don't give them seven hundred million dollars in the next twenty-four hours, the world financial system will crash. We're hearing it. If we don't do health care by August, oh my God, the health care system will crash. No, they wouldn't need to give them $700 billion. The biggest problem we have right now that caused all that was the subprime mortgage crisis, right. which was lending money to people who had no way of paying it back. And there were two people that led the way on it. Three, Bill Clinton, Barney Frank, and Chris Dodd. Well, I think everybody, and, everybody was in on that one. No. I mean, no, Both the sides. Bush administration tried to regulate this and tried to get this brought under control because mm -hmm. there was... It, it made no sense. And Acorn was out forcing oh. banks, pressuring banks to lend money to people who couldn't pay it back, okay. all under the guise of, we must have affordable well, housing. Oh, God, the lies, the overwhelming lies. Uh, yeah, the people responsible were the three Democrats that he named, and it was Acorn did it. What the hell does Acorn have to do with the financial collapse caused by Wall Street? I didn't know Acorn ran Wall Street. That's a new one on me. No, the real problem, and then get a load of, he said Bush tried to regulate this. You hear him? He, that's what he said. <laughs> Here's what Bush did in 2004. You used to only be able to leverage your money 12 to 1. Okay, so if you had a dollar in the bank, the bank could then, you know, make $12 in bets, basically, right? Bush said, yeah, yeah, go ahead, we're going to lift that. So you can make $30 in bets and $40 in bets. So when things crashed, they said, do you have the $30? They said, no, we only got the dollar. Okay, now... It, it, does leverage work? Yes, in general, you have to have leverage, right? But there is a reasonable amount of leverage to have. And when you lift that reasonable amount of leverage, then you have a system that's unsustainable. That is one of about a hundred things that they should have regulated, but they did the exact opposite. They deregulated. That's what caused the crash, not Barney Frank and Acorn. I mean, it's such a grotesque lie to blame the people who really, in the end, were the victims, the people who were got thrown out of their houses. That's the reference he's making to Acorn, like, oh, you know, the people at the community level. And I, he said it before on a show, we talked about it. Oh, you know, all these minorities got loans and, you know, they couldn't handle it. <laughs> no, it's about the people who gave them the loans, who gave them loans that they knew were predatory, would have exploding interest rates they couldn't possibly pay because they didn't give a damn because they weren't going to keep the loans because they had structured it so they would put it in a CDO and sell it off and have none of the risk. Okay, you don't get me started on what the real problem was. Please, acorn, right? And then uh, on his, oh, the economic pie is growing. Well, it didn't grow under George W. Bush. The average median, inc the median income in America for the average American family went down. The only thing that went up, the only part of the pie that was growing, was the top 1% under Bush and under Reagan and under George H.W. Bush. The only time that the, it went up for us in the last 20 years or so, the last almost the last 30 years, was under Bill Clinton. So he's lying there. And the question is, what's the right tax rate? It's not. Look, I'm not against somebody making 800 million dollars. Bill Gates makes 800 million. Warren Buffett does. They earned it. They do what they do well. Okay. That's not the issue. The issue is someone like uh, the guy, the American who ran the London office of AIG, who made risky bets that he knew 
he could never pay off, the AIG could never pay off, but he made $600 million through basically a fraudulent scam. That's what I got a problem with. Uh, <laughs> I can go all day long busting you up, Raj. You come on this show and say that. See how it turns out for you. <laughs>